I'm Pat Gunn, and this is my Let's Play of Skyrim Dragonborn. So, in, uh, in an earlier episode, I mentioned that I had disabled um, a mod that I was using for more realistic lighting. Turns out I hadn't actually managed to do that. Uh, but this time I did, so the lighting might be a little bit uh, different. My hope is that that'll give me a little bit better performance. I want to turn left 90 degrees and head ahead. Um, but I'm not sure if that's actually going to be the case. But yeah, uh, performance is naturally... Oh, I need a key to get down there. How do I... I wonder where the key is. Maybe it's ahead. I guess I haven't explored this area yet. Hmm, interesting. So this looks like kind of a tomby area. Yeah, tomb. And things are dropping from the ceiling. Okay. Okay, it sounds like one of those ash critters is up there. Ooh, that's no good. Er. Oh, and also one of the things that's happened between the last uh, episode and this one is that a texture pack was released for, uh, ooh, these guys are tough. Yeah, the skirmishers are tougher than my Dramor lords. Fortunately, provided that I stay back, I can just keep on summoning them. Okay, so that way looks... Okay, both ways looks like look like they have a ways. Further on... Is that... Continued passage? Let's see. Uh, no, maybe not. Yeah, okay. So I'm kind of weirded out by this bone meal, th uh, meal thing. I guess in theory bones might have some nutrition, but are we actually eating the corpses of dead people when we eat bone meal? Anyhow, and I'm nervous being in a room with so many, uh, that might be the key that we want. With so many unopened... coffins. Uh, making progress, experiments with... Oh... Okay, so this might be... This might be the person who... Notes from the person who actually created this type of sandy undead thing. Interesting and creepy. Although fortunately, it looks like a, not a lot of these guys are going to jump out and attack, which is good because they're tough enough that they could probably wipe me out in any large numbers. Okay, so which way was I going again? I think this way. Okay. And I see somebody up ahead. That might be the general dude. Okay, well, let's go talk with him. Oh! Okay. Go on ahead, dude. Oh, shoot. Well... 
Wow. Well, on the upside, if I can get my conjuration up a little bit further, I can have two Dramora, and that should give me dramatically more combat effectiveness. Um, yeah, definitely getting some slowdown here. Very significant slowdown. I also seem to have attracted one of my cats. Really did not last very long. Okay, one sec. I need to get my cat down. Well, I guess it's time to make use of some of these uh, Magicka potions that I've been collecting. It seems like my uh, my Dramora spends more time blocking than he does uh, attacking. So I'm going to have to get involved myself. Fortunately, these guys aren't going to follow me up here. A very, very cool special effect here. And that is the end of the foes. Unfortunately, all these books got scattered. But... Okay, death brand, leather strips, probably don't need that. So I wonder if these new ash zombie things actually count as undead. Such a terrible frame rate. And this is Champion's Cudgel. Interesting. I wonder if I'm going to need that for anything. Another key. It would be a hoot if you, if one could pop, pickpocket. Uh, if one could pickpocket the monsters. What is this? Oh, that's just a candle. Okay. Anyhow, so there's a ladder over here, and there's a door over there. Hmm. 
There's unfortunate things about that armor design, particularly the lower bits. It looks kind of like giant diapers. Yeah, in the back it's not helping. So, yeah, that's definitely not one of the armors that I'm, uh, that I would be keen to keen to pick up. So now I want to return to the captain and also return that pendant thing. Hmm, that's interesting. So I wonder if the um, if the Elder Scrolls Online, if that's set in the fourth era or the uh, fifth era, since presumably it, or I guess it could cover Soul's time. Of course, until the open beta actually starts, we won't really have a good idea if it does. I am. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I killed the. What news do you bring? I had my suspicions. It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Curious. That Scottish accent just. Founding of Raven Rock. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. Wow, that's a... I'm sorry to bother you, but Second Councillor Rano asked me to come find you. All he wanted me to do... Look, this is important. Please, go speak to the Second Councillor as soon as possible. Okay. So there's that. And... Um... Oh, there's a glowy thing over there. But there was also somebody right over here who I think I want to sell. Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more. But I can't risk Councillor Morvey being killed. That's a neat voice, whoever's doing that. Uh, the Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house has placed a death mark on the councillor's head. It's a private matter. Let's the problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu may be justified, but it certainly isn't appreciated. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and listen. I do. I've received some information. Ravenrock is a if any of them is from I had a feeling you'd be I need you to start out best place to start would be Gelded. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. Can't afford. I... I, I don't think so. I'm not... Traitor. Their collaboration with the Empire... Ah, political... ...rivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts... Were political intrigue is one of my, uh... Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received. Having passed ties to the Empire, immediately they had welcomed the Empire. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized. You might think it's all perfect. Making sure those shipments are... And with Solstein crawling with Reavers and a Zora nose... I maintain most hail from House Redura. Most of my... Sending the occasional... However, any information we can... During the Oblivion Crisis, the Empire pulled... We had no standing army. House Redoran took charge. When the Argonians invaded years later, it would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. Okay, so there's that. Last time I rode Jalen's ship, I was heaving my gut. So I'm guessing this is the person with the local contacts, maybe. 
I work for Mokro. You got a problem, you talk to him. I'll give you this warning. No, wait. I don't know. I feel strange just Mokro thinking Mokro doesn't lend a coin to outlanders. Teldrin Serra, you for hire. If Something you have about the a temple, I'm at your service. Well, he's a kind of cool looking dude, but... Welcome to the... We have all sorts of authentic do- Did I know someone by that nut? Maybe I'm just confused. I can't be sure. Okay, I'm getting kinda of bored of asking everyone that. Huh. Very neat architecture. Welcome to the wretching next corner club. Well, well. Azura knows he needs all the help he can get. No. Or just actually odd. If you want to catch those slippery, there's an old ancestral tomb near the temple. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, what makes any time Adril and the Redoran Guard made a move, you can thank me if it works. Until then, I'd the finest. In fact, I've just added some new. All I need to do is get the war out. I was part here. Take these samples of the Sujama and spread the word. If you get rid of all of them, there's something extra in it for you. Huh, great. Open, people are born. When a Dunmer's since the ash yam is born of the very same soil, it represents rebirth and renewal. How do you think? It's a blessing. I've got regular paying customers. Back in Noni, I fetch a fall he could stir up the local. Here on, half a bloody town join us. He underestimated the Vila tried to rock. Vila Ulan was executed a short time later. Nothing specific, but I'm here rumbling. If you've got gold on your hands, you won't talk. Haven't heard anything lately. The Redoran Guard have spotted a pack of werewolves in the mountains. There's action. A few years ago. It okay, was yeah. Patients. Ah, but you see, this particular, as I'm watching this, the man looks straight up at Fenech, yells, Amateur! Well, the bottle broke on me. Finally, it stopped and began to quit. I've seen plenty of drunks every day. True story, friend. True story. Huh. So he... Somebody got a monster drunk. Weird. Anyhow. So, new quests are... To hand out some... Uh, yeah. Okay, this starts a whole lot of quests. Huh. So this really is just an inn with much cooler architecture. I bet it would be kind of expensive to build a place like this in, uh, in real life. I'm not sure how it would uh, cost compared to an actual uh, inn, but... And here... Okay, so... Headed east. May want to give the Talmithrin a wide... If you're looking for passage to Barton, you're out of luck. No ships... I suppose uh, with uh, with games like this that are set in a world that has a long, well-developed history, they have a good excuse for having um, businesses set in buildings that are far too cool to have been built for for their purpose, and that presumably these once great civilizations once had a lot more going on. But once uh, once things started to decay, are you here to pray, or perhaps pay your respects at our ancestral tomb? Wow, that's another cool hairstyle for. There, where sadly we've been unable to use the ancestral tomb beneath the temple. Those f there, the fouling. Thank you. Here, this key should open the door to the tomb. The reclamations are the true tribunal. We call them the true tribunal. 
because they have reclaimed their Sotha Sil, Amalexia, and the Vag represent what was. They were aberrant. But okay. How yep, yep, yep. Good. So I'm guessing it's down here. Unfortunately, this means that I'll be fighting a, a whole bunch of. Okay. Any little bit helps, I've found. If you really want to help... This is a very happy time for for leveling uh, skills. And for getting raw materials for mining. Okay, so they have lost me, which I'm pretty happy about. Well, most of them have lost me. That is a whole bunch of these guys. Unfortunately, collecting all this stuff means that I'm probably going to need to swing back into Skyrim to drop off some ore soon. Yeah, as I predicted, I'm now over my weight limit. Uh, what can I productively drop? We don't need any more iron ore. And over here is Huh. This is another room that looks just about exactly the same. Oh, and apparently leaving has scrubbed all the corpses from the room. Well, in any case... Let's 
let's head back out. You honor the reclamation spirit. I'm hoping you didn't suffer much at the hands of those foul beings. That when a Dunmer, the Dunmer don't believe. Huh. Death, so Dunmer cremate. Okay, well, that takes care of that. Yeah, that takes care of that quest line, but I am going to swing back home to drop off some of this stuff. If you're looking for past talk to Captain Jolly. Oh, which one is he? So in the lore of um, the Elder Scrolls, apparently Solstheim used to be part of uh, Skyrim anyhow, but it was transferred to um, Morrowind uh, so that the uh, well, after the after the volcano erupted, so that the Dunmer would have a place to live. Presumably, it uh, it wasn't just uh, given as a refuge because they didn't uh, didn't want the area to be used as part of the elections for uh, High King of Skyrim, which is a kind of crafty way to do uh, charity of sorts. But then I suppose when one is offering charity, one does typically get to set the terms. Captain Gyalin does the business. Okay, so when I'm ready to return, I'll just head back down to the... Oh, there isn't a fast travel marker for the docks. That's kind of irritating. Anyhow, I'm going to sw uh, swing by home. Drop off all the ore and stuff. Yeah, so right now I'm wearing the Archmage's robes, which, or no, am I? No, I'm not. I have them, but I'm not wearing them because they, uh, they reduce the cost of all spells by 15%. Oh, shoot. Bandit raid. Bandits are getting kind of tough. It's just such a cool thing, and I'm right outside my house. I don't mind slowly walking it in. So apparently, it's not just on Solstheim that the uh, that the new gear uh, shows up.
apparently there's enough trade between the provinces that... Oh, where were you? You could have been very helpful. Oh. Anyhow, let's drop off the stuff. Because each war weighs uh, a pound, that stuff adds up really quickly. Okay, and now I have some gear to drop off. And uh, let's see, weapons. Probably don't need this or this. I mean, I guess I could sell this stuff, but. I'm not really hurting for money, so I'll just drop it off here for now. Uh, that's useful for mining. Such a cool looking shield. Okay, so. Yeah, pretty cool. Not as cool as the other one. And is there anything else? No, I guess. I'm still doing okay. And while I'm over here, I'm going to swing by the Assassin's uh, Guild and uh, let them know that I've completed my assignments and get the next one. It's kind of strange that you can fast travel between uh, between areas in Skyrim, and presumably you can't fast travel to uh, to Solstheim from Skyrim. Although I'll, I'll check that out by bringing up the map from a quest in a moment once I get back outside. I guess in theory I could swing by and pick up Serana at this point, but but that'd be kind of a big detour. One of the most irritating figures in Skyrim. This is Cicero. Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. I'll be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for one am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and 
so irritating. Ugh, God. If it were up to me, I'd... Make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress. Perfect. You're the boss. <sighs> ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. I do. And you must go to the city of Nordhoff. The girl's been running her mouth. What's an excellent? Her name is Muiri. I just do whatever. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. When I so become be wolf, I sure. treachery incarnate. They and then, are. then, there is no one who can stand between the hunt. Let me guess. Yeah, follow my wife's orders. The witless fool and his pet corpse. I might ask the same of you, for you are more than mortal. You are moonborn. You are wolf. Yes, I am. So you're a companion then. I can't imagine you got your gift anywhere. Oh yes, I was once brother to the companions. Let's just say they found my methods unsettling. The dark brotherhood obviously feels differently. Okay, so that's another quest to do. Unfortunately, I missed out on a opportunity for hilarity in that earlier on, uh, if I didn't realize that it, uh, that it was triggered at this point in the quest line, earlier on, if you catch him while he's on the road, he's wheeling a kind of, uh, he's wheeling a dead body around that he venerates called the Night Mother. And you can play a pretty nasty prank on him by uh, by getting a guard to uh, so yeah you just can't bring up those things on the map oh well okay so I guess I missed out on reporting back to Nazer or Nazir um, but yeah you can get a, a guard to you can tell a guard that he's smuggling contraband weapons or something like that and the guard will arrest him and presumably uh, investigate the dead body, which will really piss off Cicero. And because Cicero is so, so irritating, it's pretty hilarious uh, uh, pissing him off. Fortunately, later on in the game, you get to kill him. But And yes, I, I recognize that were he a real person, that would be a pretty horrible thing to say, but this is one of those areas where, because it's a work of fiction, um, I, uh, I can stomach killing uh, a little bit more than I can were it uh, happening in real life. Oh yeah, there's a, a word wall here. But because music is disabled right now, and he is right down there. You reek up good, and I hope your payment for a job well done. Okay, now. Congrats. Here's your payment. And. Of course she I could do this all day. Uh, he is a master of terrible puns. Okay, come on. I'm sorry I don't. Come see me again later. The contracts I dole out up, the jobs Astrid gives you will be more important and usually more complex. Just keep your wits about you. And 
Okay, so I'm going to return to Solstheim, and that, I believe, will be a good breaking point. Uh, but I really wish that there were a fast travel marker for the, uh, for the docks. Because I think it's going to get pretty old running down there. I kind of wonder with Skyrim what type of a PC it would take to run it with uh, the maximal graphics settings and um, and still be able to do these types of recordings without any slowdown at all. What is over here? Oh, there's a word wall in there. Of course, some of this probably depends on the resolution that uh, that uh, you're running at, but I'm not sure how much it depends on that because presumably it's still doing some type of a resolution-independent rendering of the scene before uh, before it gets scaled down to, uh, to whatever your graphic settings are, maybe. Okay, so is this a reasonable place? And I want to head almost due west. Okay, the docks are just over there. Is it possible to get up on the docks from down here? Yes, good. Oh, what's going on? Uh, apparently there must there's a dragon nearby or something. Yeah, sounds like it. Okay, so I will scoot over here and Let's see. Let's get out from under the tr the tree and see if this is a decent place to do my and let's see if the dragon will scroll into my vision again oh huh, where'd it go way back there. Mind yourself. Okay, I'm doing decent damage, but Dragon does not really want to stay still, understandably.
I guess it's probably land bound now. I killed it in a way that it turned to ash, but unfortunately that ash is hidden. Oh well. <laughs> it came from Bethesda. Are you Galland? I could take you to any port on the coast. Well, that's not quite what I wanted. Uh, where is Galland? Did he go inside or something? Or sorry, but then the north wind. You looking for work? Not just now. How do people? Yeah, I guess. Talk to Captain Yowlin. Okay. So let's wait for day. So the only complaints that I've really heard about this uh, expansion is that it's not uh, super long. Wait, are you, are you hammering with... That's... Oh. That is... Ridiculous. So he's holding both a broom and a hammer, and hammering... Okay, yeah, that's... So where is Galland? Shorglaf, Lyrglead. Are you? Oh. Well, that is. Don't appreciate us. So what? I don't appreciate them right back. There. At least it's. Well, I don't know if sanitation is a major concern with. Uh, I'm not sure when that NPC comes back. Oh wait, there we go. I think, probably. Yeah. There's nothing finer than dark elf Sujama. Well, I guess nothing bad happened the last. Casting off. I guess 250 gold isn't that bad when you when you're making uh, this level of profit. Particularly late in the game. Might be kind of rough to head out there um, at low levels. Talk to Captain Gallon if you're, look if you're looking for passage. Talk to Captain Gallon. Captain Gyalin says the business around here. I'm just a ship's mate. Okay. So there are more people to share that uh, beverage with. And I'm guessing that guards being fairly generic. Spawn threat taken care of. I can give my men the rest they deserve. Ah, uh, it's fashioned from actual bone. It's been reinforced. It might appear brittle, but I'd wager it could stop the blow of a weapon better than I... It can be. They usually didn't amount to much, but some of my own men have become despise the stuff myself. If I knew where they were stashing the bottles, you would. I would 
would be helpful. I just... Uh, they're too smart to have left it in the bulwark. I'd search... I've had to muster... Second camp. I say let them try. My men are ready. All of the soldiers in this town... I've spent quite a few years honing their skills. To protect. He has quite a few friends on the council back in... Other than that, I'm not at liberty to discuss it. Uh, I might know some... I, I can't. Okay, yeah, uh, everyone basically says the same thing there. I think maybe had something to Anyhow. Oh, what was there left to do in the tomb? Oh, so wait inside the tomb and also sell the pendants to... Busier now that things Geldis needs to bottle this up and send it to the mainland instead of wasting his time out here. I'm beginning to like this partnership. Here you go. Your actions here. Always a pleasure to taste anything Geldis comes up with. If you've got something to sell, I'm willing to buy it. Why don't we see what kind of deal we can make? Huh, net leather, lock picks. Uh. Next time you're hungry, stop by. I always have I don't know. I should mix some of this into my next potion. Who knows what would happen? Careful. If there's any what? Oh no, thank you. I need to taste my for the store. I appreciate the help you've been giving us. Okay, so I did I work for Mokro. I'll give you this one prop. Take that swill and pour it down a well. If there's anything at all I can do to help, it talks of sense to let me know. Husband. We can't get blood from a stone, Mogul. As it is, we can barely make ends meet. That is Mogul my problem. Lend I was clear we ever need a buffer curry supply. Not somewhere else. For my wife, Milora. Huh, really? Yeah, kind of, kind of cool architecture. Uh, but that will be all for this uh, Let's Play.